show this morning. It's like an orange creamsicle dream. I mean, what a better than a big ball of orange fur or a tube on two legs. And it just so happens that our next guest fits that description. And he's also one of Molly's favorite mascots. Apparently, Bango's been giving Tiff some trouble yeah. about me saying that he's, Roscoe's He's a little favorite. upset about it. Yeah. His feelings are Don't getting roll hurt. Roll That's not good. No. Well, today I'm going to introduce John Greenberg first because somehow it seems like you always get lost in the shuffle when Roscoe's around. <laughs> yeah, Roscoe's a rock star. I'm just, you know, part of the act. You're just president so. of the team. That's all. And no big deal. Yeah, and here to steal the show is Roscoe. So we're so excited to see you Thanks guys. For being it's great here. to be back. It, it must means, be that time. I was going to say, it means hockey season's coming mm -hmm. back, right? It absolutely is. Uh, watching the Today Show and seeing them skating out at Rockefeller uh, Center certainly uh, uh, made us think about the hockey even this early this morning. And the weather forecast this week with cooling down certainly makes us think too. Yeah, uh, it was cold sure. out this morning. Yeah. The home opener is Friday. Is Saturday that right? night. Saturday, Saturday night. night. Yeah, Saturday night against Chicago. Uh, big Amtrak rivalry game. We last year we handled them pretty well, so I think there'll be some revenge on their minds to get off to a good start against us, but we're thrilled to get back started again. That's, That's great. great. You've already played a couple games, though, so far. This is your home opener, but you've had your season opener already. Yeah, we were in Abbotsford, British Columbia over the weekend uh, playing two games against the Abbotsford Heat and uh, took three points out of four in two games, so it was a wonderful start for our guys, and uh, we got that road trip out of the way all the way out there, so excited to get back home. We play in Grand Rapids on Friday night and then back here on Saturday to kick off the home season. Awesome. And you got a lot of cool promotions this year. I mean, that's one of the real fun things, too, is that you've got all these great things going on. We do. We try to you know, <laughs> fill it in all of our dates, if we can, with something fun for everybody to do. And this Saturday <laughs> night, we'll be you know, introducing the team and um, you know, giving out everybody gets a schedule magnet, thanks to OxyClean. And it's a, you know, playing Chicago, which is it's special enough as it is. But uh, uh, it should be a fun night and a lot of fun things throughout the season, bobbleheads and uh, concert series and all kinds do of fun Do your bobblehead, like Rasco. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're actually doing a bank of Roscoe this year. Um, oh. So it's a nice six inch high. Different uh, than bank. the one before. Yeah, because the one head. is just his head. Just a head. This is a full, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a full just body. Yeah. yeah, his head's full of coins. It is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> full of metal. <laughs> but a full body of uh, Roscoe for a bank for this year. That'll be coming up uh, later in the year. Perfect. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, what do you look forward to at this season as you kind of review last year and look forward to a new season, like some of your, your star players? Sure. Well, I, what I look forward to the most I think is the consistency we've got our same coaches back for the first time in years to have two years in a row 17 players who were on the team last year are back that's abnormal for us usually yeah. it's really about half um, our captain Scott Ford is back for his sixth year Mark Van Gilder who's one of our our real solid guys is back for his fifth year and then we've got good young players too that I think are going to be very exciting for our fans to watch as they try to get to their goal which is to play in Nashville and in the NHL and Hopefully, uh, you know, we finished last year winning 15 out of the last 20 to make the playoffs, and we hopefully get off a good start this year and carry that right through. That's exciting. Awesome. So much fun. You do so many neat things in the community, too, and that's a really important part of the team aspect for you. Absolutely. I mean, what we do out in the community, we have... We, we have to give back. I mean, people give us so much by coming and spending their disposable income by coming and choosing to come to an Admirals game that you know, we want to give back to the people in this community. Wednesday night's a big event for us, uh, actually at the Bebo Harris Bradley Center. It's the Prevent Blindness Dinner. Our players are waiters and and uh, they try to spill soup on people and things like that. But we have to raise money for, uh, for a great cause there. And then we play a charity game every year and we have our reading program that we go around and read to over 3,000 kids in the community. So a lot of fun things we try to do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have to understand the game of hockey, I don't think to truly enjoy a, a night out. And it's a great family entertainment. I mean, there's always lots of energy, music, um, you do concerts, mm -hmm. I mean, you can grab dinner there, grab a hot dog or a brat, uh, but it's fun for families. Oh, we think so. I mean, you don't have to understand the game completely. I mean, you'll pick it up as you go along and some of our, you know, longtime fans are happy to explain things to you as you as you watch the game, but we realize that not everybody in the community is a hockey fan. But but you are looking for entertainment and you're looking for a fun night out and we hope we can do that at an affordable cost and uh, give you a great night to, you know, two and a half hours of entertainment to, you know, have a fun night with everybody else. Or have a birthday party there. Absolutely. That's mm. a good time. Yeah. Roscoe visits too. If it's yeah. your birthday party, he'll come and visit. Absolutely. I love that. Yep. 
Uh, do the hockey players have to fight, though? Can we work out a way that they can just snuggle, snuggle. it out? Yes. <laughs> yes. Instead, of, <laughs> instead of hockey fights like, up against the wall, can they snuggle out, out this year? Uh, the players are off today. <laughs> so tomorrow out. when they go to practice, I'm going to suggest Train them maybe we that. try this and then I'll, I'll, they'll probably beat me up. So. <laughs> 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 no, actually, our guys... Fighting has de decreased significantly in our in our game over the last few years. It it happens. You know, a lot of energy on that ice, and uh -huh. sometimes some of that stuff builds up. Yeah, but then you know the guys go sit in the penalty box and have a timeout for five minutes, yeah. and yeah. you know then it's all over with, and then you, you just move on. But yeah, you know, the whole snuggle get, thing's different. That's for sure. I always wonder <laughs> if they get paid more if they start a fight or no, 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 nope. absolutely not. <laughs> no. no, no, only sixty dollars an hour when they <laughs> snuggle afterwards. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Professionals. All right, so here's the information. The home opener for the Milwaukee Admirals is this Saturday, October 19th at 7 p.m. For tickets, you can call 414-227-0550 or book a birthday party or other fun occasion at an Admirals game. MilwaukeeAdmirals.com is the website to visit, and we're doing a giveaway, which is fantastic, so that you can take the family. Callers number 7 and 8 this morning win a family four-pack of tickets. So call 414-799-4. 4444. Four, four. Good luck with that. I hope your season opener is great. Well, we hope so too, and we hope uh, we get to play long into June, which means uh, we've planned for a championship. Going to the playoffs. Right. Yeah. Yeah, get those awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.